So this horse is named Lena. She's an appendix jumper and I trialed her for four days and um, I, we mostly worked on stopping because she had a problem with stopping and she was very, very forward thinking to the point where she is, can be very dangerous. You can see here I'm trying to stop her. and she doesn't want to stop she wants to keep going so I'm still pulling back on her and she likes to inch forward because she's really trying to anticipate that I'm gonna ask her to go forward and she braces the bit with her jaw so that doesn't help the cause at all but during this ride right before um, I tacked her up. She was running in that pasture that's right next to the, the arena and so she looks really calm in this video which was awesome that she was so cool and calm but that's really not how she is. She's just very, very, very tired. Here I am again trying to halt her and she braces and I go and pat her till a good girl sells a good halt but it's she's still trying to keep going forward and what really amazes me is that she still was running around with me trying to catch her in the pasture and she still had so much energy and she was so sweaty I just don't understand And there she, that was a good haul, but she really didn't want to stop either. She kept inching forward. Now this haul here was beautiful. It was nice. I really loved that and I stuck with that and I was like, okay, we're done halting throughout the entire ride because she's just standing there waiting for me to tell her what to do. Here in this clip I really wanted to put in that she, a weird stop, she'd try and play with a bit in her mouth and I would just lay my hand on her withers so she couldn't, every time she'd play with it she'd hit herself in the mouth and stop doing it. And I was there for five minutes because she kept trying to play with it but it's, she was, she's been unable to do all these bad habits. And here I'm trotting her and she's looks awesome trotting. She was very good. And I went ahead and asked for the canner. And at this point she got really fast so I really had half held her a lot. And, and I was able to get her back to come back to me which was nice. But once again she was just very tired from running and it was very hot so she was completely different ride the next day. Ever since I was a child I've turned it all
had just gotten done cantering and she wanted to keep going and wanted to change directions. And I'm half holding her constantly because I felt her going quicker when I didn't ask for her to go. And I'm really using some arm strength here and sitting deep in my saddle so I can stop her and get some leverage over her. And then she finally walked. And she keeps trying to go into a trot. Oh, a dog. And then I asked her for the trot. This is actually my third ride with Lena. Um, my first ride, I'll show at the end of the video, and my second ride was with my trainer. My trainer rode her first, and then we decided to switch her bit because she still would not slow down or would not stop. So my trainer gave me some homework to do whenever I got back to the barn. During this clip, the trainer right there decided to say, well, let's take her through a little ground pole and see how she acts because she thought that she just had a trust issue. And notice the bit that she has on. She is in an elevator bit with bit connectors. And there she burst into a trot when I didn't ask. I kept trying to half halt. I did not ask for the canner and she would not stop. I was half holding, so I had to resort to using tight, tight circles to slow her down. And this has the, this is my first ride, and this is how it was the entire time I rode her. I figured it was either a bit situation or a trainer situation, but overall, it was just she didn't hasn't been trained well. But overall, this horse is very dangerous to ride, and so I didn't end up purchasing her, which I'm very glad I didn't. So, yeah, thank you.